So last time we did a logistic regression where the dependent variable is a dichotomous 0, 1 variable, which is something logistic regression is perfect for that. But what if you have a dependent variable that has more than one category? Uh, for instance, if we're looking at a health variable where um, it's there's an order of poor health, average health, better health, and really good health, or something like that. You want to capture that information in terms of the order behind variables, and also you want to look at what does it mean to fit in one or the other category. And so instead of running a logistic regression where you make compare zeros and ones, you can actually run an OLIGIT model uh, using Stata. And to do this, we're going to use a self-reported health data set that's also in the Stata website that you can just download by typing in the web use. And I'm just going to highlight that. And then run. And uh, if we look at the health variable, and if we tab health, we'll see that it's uh, poor, fair, average, good, and excellent. So there's five categories, and there's an order to them. There's an implied order. It's not continuous, but you can kind of see that to be fair, it would be above poor, and average is above average, and so forth. And so OLEGIT uh, regression is useful in this regard. And to do it, the basic command is similar to all regression commands, is that you, you type in OLOGIT health, which is going to be our dependent variable, and then put in some predictors. So female, black, age, and age squared, in case we think that there's kind of a U-shaped uh, function behind age. Maybe people who are very young have a big impact on health, whereas people who are very old have a different impact on health. I like that and run it. And then we have our two display tables with the coefficients and the cutoff points. And the first thing is just looking at the coefficients, uh, it's hard to actually interpret these. And I always like to look at it in terms of odd ratios. And that's an option you can just change. So you'll notice in my um, Stata command, the next line I actually have OR uh, after all the variables are listed in putting the comma to say that's an option. And I, if I run that, it's just going to change those coefficients into exponentiated uh, odd ratios. And uh, for me, that's a little bit easier to interpret. And so we see that uh, being female decreases your odd ratios of being healthy. Um, being black also decreases your odd ratios of being healthy. Age, similarly, in age squared, um, also has a negative impact. So all these things have negative impacts, uh, where being black seems to be have the greatest negative impact. Uh, and all of these things are statistically significant uh, because they're below 0.1 or 0.05 and 0.01 at many of the levels. So in this second box, we see that there's cutoff points that are pre state that predicts for the model. And basically, it's looking at what is being predicted as a continuous variable in terms of the five categories that we have uh, for health. And um, this is kind of looking at a cumulative um, probability function and saying, wh where is a particular respondent going to lie predicted on these um, characteristics? We made a little chart here to, to maybe visualize this. But there's going to be four cut points uh, for the five categories of self-rated health. And um, if the predicted value is somewhere like above the cut point two, but below cut point three, we know that that person would be predicted as having an average reported health. And, and uh, we won't go too much to cut points so that we can keep this video short. Um, but let's say we wanted to improve our model. And uh, last time we did a logistic regression, we used this XI prefix, uh, which was kind of a handy way of adding in a discrete variable such as race by creating a, a dummy variable on the fly. And you can do the same thing when you want to do an OLIGIT model. And so you just do the XI, uh, type in the command, give your dependent variable, list your independent variables. But anything that you give an I to, for instance, race, is going to create two dummy variables for the second and third category. So race is coded as one is white, two is black, and three is other. So it's going to create a dummy variable for blacks and a dummy variable for other. And it's going to put those dummy variables in the model. And then we're going to look at uh, types of diseases. We're going to look at, uh, well, somebody's blood pressure. We're going to look at whether or not they've had a heart attack. And we're going to look at whether or not they have diabetes and how that affects their odd ratio. And then I put the uh, 
comma because like I said before I like to see the odd ratios instead of the coefficients so I'm just gonna go ahead and run that and uh, we see that our pseudo r squared improved slightly and then we have our table of odd ratio coefficients and we see here being female is still statistically significant it reduces your odd ratios uh, for a good health uh, age also age squared is no longer statistically significant um, then being black and being other as compared to whites also impacts your log ratios um, there's a 58 percent decrease in your odd ratios of being uh, healthy as compared to whites. Uh, blood pressure seems to have an impact, negative impact, and having a heart attack and having diabetes definitely has large impacts on your odd ratios. And then it gives you the four estimated cut points to see where any individual would lie in their health, self-rated health. And one of the benefits of having this uh, cut points established is then, then you can actually ask Stata to create uh, predictions for where somebody would actually fall on their self-rated health in terms of the categories available for the dependent variable. So since the dependent variable was health, and we know that there's five categories of poor, fair, average, good, and excellent, type in predict after you've run the OLEGIT model, um, and type in poor, fair, health, average, good, and excellent, uh, it will calculate the probabilities for each respondent for falling into these five values by creating five different variables and corresponding probabilities. Uh, so if you run that, you'll see that Stata has created new variables. And uh, it's created poor, fair, average, good, and, and excellent. And it tells you the probability for each respondent falling in that category. So it looks like this first respondent had the highest probability falling in average category. The second respondent here had the highest probability of falling, falling in the good um, self-rated health, which might be helpful for some people, depending on your research question. And we also provide the command here. If you weren't really interested in looking at these five values that could have been taken up, you can just choose one of the values um, and create a new variable that just takes into account the fifth, in this case, would be excellent, in case you're just interested in what's the probability of having excellent health. Okay, so that's basically OLOGIT, and uh, we'll see you next time.